Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this particular problem. In this problem it is said that the device shown is used to drag loaded wooden pallets across warehouse floors. The wood board shown is one of the several members that comprise the base of the pallet. For the 4 kN force applied by a forklift, determine the magnitude of the force supported by pin C and the normal gripping force at A and B. Right, so we have to determine the forces supported by this pin C and we have to determine the forces uh, that are applied to this pallet right? at this point A and this point B. So we have to find that normal forces. So what we will do is that we will start our analysis with considering uh, this joint F for equilibrium. right? So let me write that if we consider this joint F. So, we will have a free body diagram like this. So, this 4 kN force will be acting in the horizontal direction like this and we will have uh, this DF force which will be acting along this DF member right like this and we will have that uh, EF member force which will be acting in from F towards E this FE force like this right. So, let me place it here. So, this is that 4 kN force which is the force applied by the forklift and this is that DF force and this is that EF force right. So, if we want to apply the equilibrium condition at this joint F. So, what we need to do first is that we need to determine the angle of this DF and the angle of this EF with the horizontal right. So, now we are given these two dimensions right. Let me draw a triangle here right. So, we will have this triangle right. So, the height of this triangle is 1 1 1 and the base is 93. So, we can find theta. So, this theta right and similarly we can have one another triangle like this as well right. So, both of these triangles are uh, similar triangles right since this uh, uh, whole uh, mechanism is symmetrical about the horizontal line. If I draw a horizontal line here, so this whole mechanism is symmetrical about this horizontal line. So, now we can find this theta right. So, this means that if this is theta then this angle is also theta. So, this means that this EF is also making that same theta with the horizontal. So, both of these thetas are equal right. So, we can determine this theta by applying tan theta to this triangle right. So, we can say that uh, tan theta will be equal to this perpendicular. So, perpendicular is 1 1 1 divided by base. So, the base is 93 and if we take 10 inverse right. So, we can write that theta is equal to 10 inverse and if we determine this by using calculator. So, this angle equals to 50.04 degrees. So, this theta is 50.04 degrees. So, this DF is making that same uh, 50. 0 4 degrees with the horizontal and this theta is also 50.04 degrees with the horizontal. So, now if we apply the summation of forces along the y axis is equals to 0 since the joint F is at uh, is in the equilibrium right. So, if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0. So, then we will have two components of this GF it will have one component should be acting in this direction and it will have one component should be acting in this direction and similarly this EF will have two components. It will have one component should be acting in this direction and it will have one component should be acting in this direction right. So, if we apply the summation of forces along y. So, this is the sine component of DF. So, we can write that DF sine of 50.04 is acting in the positive y direction and this EF sine of we can write that this EF sine component is acting in the negative y direction. So, I will write minus EF sine of 50.04 and this will be equal to 0. So, if we divide this whole equation by sine 50.04, so this will cancel out right and we will be left with DF minus EF equals to 0 or we can say that DF is equal to EF right. So, now we can say that this EF is equal to DF as well. So, now if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0, 
So, then as we can see that uh, this cos component of dF is acting in the positive x direction. So, I will write dF cos of 50.04 and similarly again the, co the cos component of this EF is acting in the positive x direction and EF is equal to dF. So, we can write that this is plus dF cos of 50.04. So, we have uh, this two times right. So, we can say that this is 2 dF cos of 50.04 degrees and this 4 kilonewton is acting in the negative x direction. So, I will write minus 4 and this is equal to 0. So, from this we can find d f. So, d f will be equal to minus 4 divided by 2 cos of 50.04 right. So, this this will become positive right. So, this is plus. So, from this we get d f equals to 3.11 kilonewton. Now, if we consider this uh, B C D member of this mechanism right. So, if we consider this uh, lower jaw for equilibrium right. So, if I consider this right. So, then uh, this D F is acting in this direction. So, this means that that D F force will be acting in the opposite direction right. So, what will happen is that that this D F member will apply the force on this uh, B C D member in the downward direction right. So, it will try to close it right. So, we will have that d f force which will be acting uh, in this direction from d to f right. So, I can put that d f force here which is uh, again 3.11 kilo Newton right. So, I can write that this is 3.11 kilo Newton and here we have that point c right. So, at this point c we will have uh, one reaction which will be acting vertically upward right let us say this is C and here we will have that normal force uh, usually this this B C D member will apply the force on this pilot in the upward direction and as a reaction this pilot will apply the force in the downward direction right. So, since we are considering this B C D member for equilibrium. So, we will be considering all those forces which are acting on this particular member right. So, this pilot will apply the normal force on this at this point B right. So, here we have that point B and this is that point D right. So, let us say that this is B n for the normal force at B right and here uh, as we can see that this whole mechanism is symmetrical about the x axis is right. So, the horizontal component of the reaction at C is equal to 0 right since as we can see that all these forces are symmetrical about this x axis this is very a uh, helpful hint right. So, this hint says this is from book. It says that it is always useful to recognize symmetry. Here it tells us that uh, the forces acting on the two parts behave as mirror images of each other with respect to the x axis. Thus, we cannot have an action on one member in the plus x direction and its reaction on the other member in the negative uh, x direction right. So, what does this mean that if we consider that here at C we have two uh, norm uh, two reactions right. Let us say this C y and let us say this C x. So, and the resultant of both of these uh, C x and C y will be if I aid both of these by head to tail rule. So, this is C x and this is C y. So, the resultant will be acting in this direction. So, this means that if we consider C x in this direction. So, then uh, at this point C v the resultant reaction or the support at this point C will be acting in this direction right and this will be the total C and since uh, at this point C if we consider this uh, E C A member. So, then according to this uh, we need to have the force in the opposite direction of this right. So, we need to have uh, this C force in the opposite direction okay. if we consider this E C A member right since this same force will be applied on the other member. So, as a reaction it need to have in the opposite direction according to Newton's third law of motion right. So, if this is the case then uh, at this uh, e, e C A member we will have this C x force which will be acting in this direction and we will have a C y force which will be acting in the downward direction like this right. But as we can see that uh, since here we have that d f force in this direction and here we have that e f force in this direction right. So, as we can see that this whole mechanism is symmetrical about this x axis. So, all these forces need to be symmetrical about the x axis right. So, if we look into this so then uh, 
th this is not possible right since this c and this c force this is this the reaction uh, support force on this d c b member and this uh, green one is the support force on this uh, e c a member right so according to this symmetry it is not possible right according to the symmetry it was required to have the support force in this direction right so uh, so according to the symmetry it's not possible to have uh, such kind of the reaction force at this point c so this means that at c we we only have this uh, vertical support right so this means that uh, at c we only have the support force in the positive y direction right since due to symmetry cx is not possible so this means that due to symmetry the cx component is zero so we will have only this c force which will be acting vertically upward at this point c right so this is that c force this is that c point as well right so now if we consider this uh, b c d member and if we apply the summation of moment about point b equals to zero so that will give us this c support force at this point c right so now if i resolve this d for this df force into its components so we will have two components we will have one component in this direction and we will have one component which will be acting in this direction right so this is the cos component this will be 3.11 cos of and if if this df force is making that theta here so it will be making that same theta here right so this is making that same 50.04 angle here as well right so this is that 3.11 cos of 50.04 component and this is the sine component right so now if we apply the summation of the moment about point b equals to 0 so as we can see that this cos component is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point b so i will write 3.11 cos of 50.04 and the perpendicular distance of this cos component from that point b will be this much distance let me identify that distance so this is that cos component so we have this distance this is 1 1 1 plus this distance plus this small distance right since we are considering this point b so this whole distance is 36 so this small distance is 36 divided by 2 so this is 18 mm right so we can write that the the perpendicular distance of this cos component from that point b is 111 plus this 18 so we can write this 111 plus 18 and as we can see that this sine component is also producing the clockwise moment about that point b so i will write plus and this is uh, 3.11 sine of 50.04 and the perpendicular distance of this sine component from that point b if i represent that sine component here so the perpendicular distance is 93 plus 156 so i will multiply this with 93 plus 156 right and similarly uh, we can see that this c uh, support force is producing the clockwise moment about that point b so i will write minus c and the perpendicular distance of this c force if i draw it here so the perpendicular distance of this c force from that point b is 156 so i will multiply this with 156 and this will be equal to zero or if we bring this uh, term to the other side of equation so we will have this equation like this so the left hand side of this equation is equal to 851.23 so i will write that this is 851.23 and this is equal to c into 156 so if we divide this by 156 so we will get that c force 851.23 divided by 156 so if we divide this so we will have 5.45 right so approximately this is equal to 5.46 kilo newton right and now if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 so if i write the summation of forces along y equals to 0 so then as we can see that this c is acting in the positive y direction so i will write plus and the c magnitude is now known right so c magnitude is plus this is 5.46 and the sine component is acting in the negative y direction so i will write minus this is 3.11 sine of 50.04 and this bn is acting in the negative y direction so i will write minus bn and this is equal to zero and if we bring this bn to the other side of equation so we will have the equation like this so we can determine is 
determine this bn using this equation which is uh, 5.46 minus 3.11 sine of 50.04 so this gives us uh, bn force equal to 3.08 approximately so this bn is equal to 3.08 uh, kilonewton and if we look into this so again this whole mechanism is symmetrical about uh, the x axis so we will have that same force which will be uh, acting here at this point a as well right so here we will have that b and force which will be acting in this direction so here we will have that same a and force which will be acting in the upward direction right so that will be the mirror image of this b n right so we can say that a n will be equal to b n which is equal to 3.08 kilonewton so i hope you people would have understood this problem solution uh, kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed my channel yet and give like to this particular video if you people think that it helps in your learning